What's 257 times 13? If you had money on getting the answer right, what would you do? Most of us could probably do it with a pencil and paper, and maybe if you're really sharp, you could do it in your head. But it'd probably take you some time, and you might make a mistake. Most of us would want to reach for a calculator. We use computers daily for simple tasks that they can do more quickly and accurately, and this is especially true when there's money on the table. Yet the vast majority of DFS players are still entering their DFS lineups by hand or with clunky CSVs. My name is Jordan Chand, and I'm the head coach here at SaberSim, and in this video, I'm going to show you the most efficient and accurate way to enter your DFS lineups into your contests. Before we get started, if you enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get notified every time we post a new one. And throughout this video, I'm going to reference a few other videos on our YouTube channel that are related to what we're talking about here. If you're interested in checking those out, they're all linked in the description of this one. But for now, let's go ahead and jump right in. Entering lineups manually sucks. Entering lineups by hand just takes a really long time while you're sitting there clicking every individual player into your lineup. And sure, if you're just playing a single bullet that night, you could probably manage that by hand. But as we proved in our DFS profit plan video, playing just a few lineups a night is one of the worst ways to select contests. The best way to maximize your profits playing DFS is to play as many unique entries as you can in a wide variety of different GPPs. And this gets kind of hard to manage. It becomes almost impossible to enter all of these different lineups by hand. So typically most people start using the CSV uploads, but these CSVs aren't that much better. They're really clunky and they're meant for computers to read these files, not humans. And it's easy to make a mistake missing a line or copying and pasting lineups into the wrong spot. And then it's really hard to see which of your lineups are going into what contests. Plus, news breaks fast when you're playing DFS. So you need to be able to do this whole process quickly and accurately when you're under the gun at lock. But here's the thing. I'm not really just talking about convenience here. There's real money at stake. If you mess up your lineups because your process takes too much time or you do something wrong, you can really lose an entire slate of entry fees. And DFS is hard enough already. You don't need to make it harder by choosing a tedious way to enter your lineups when a better solution exists. And I mean, just look at this. Does this file really look like something that's intended for a person to read? The solution here is automation. You need a tool that gets your lineups entered into the right contests fast that never makes mistakes. Many of us have already outsourced the construction of our DFS lineups to a lineup optimizer, and it's time to outsource getting those lineups entered into your contests to an entry optimizer. SaberSim's Entry Editor is a faster and more accurate way to get these lineups into your contests. With one click, you can download your entries file from the site you're playing on, which means you won't run into situations anymore where you've got the wrong or an outdated entries file. Once you've got it uploaded, you've got a ton of different customization options to make sure the right lineups end up in the right contests. Different contests have different strategies, and it's important to make sure your lineups all make it into the contests that they were actually built for. And then when you're done, it just takes a single click to upload your final entries file back to DraftKings or FanDuel, which saves you a ton of time when you're uploading at the last second before lock. It's also completely mobile optimized if you ever need to make a quick emergency edit to your lineups on the go, which if you've ever tried to do with CSVs is really painful. Plus, it has very easy integration with SaberSim's late swap tools. I'm not going to go into detail into the swap tools in this video, but you can check out a video about our late swap tools in the description of this one. Let's go ahead and actually put this into practice and I'll show you how it really works. To use SaberSim's Entry Editor, the first thing you need is an entries file, which means we need to reserve some contests. Some of you may already know how to do this. You can go ahead and skip ahead, but for those that don't, I wanna give you a quick walkthrough of how to actually reserve contests on DraftKings and FanDuel. With DraftKings first, the first thing we wanna do is find the first contest we wanna play. In this case, I'm gonna enter the $1 single entry, for example, here. We can click Enter, and then I'm just gonna put in what we call a dummy lineup. This is basically going to be just a quick lineup that I'm not gonna to think too hard about, just trying to fill in every single position as possible. Now that I've got my dummy lineup filled out, I can go ahead and just enter this contest. Now that I'm entered into a contest, I can use the bulk entry tool on DraftKings to fill out the rest of the contest that I want to play. In this case, I'm gonna let the contest load and then just click bulk enter here and figure out all of the other contests I wanna play. In this particular case, I'll play the pickoff and the quarter jukebox. I can go ahead and click submit and now I'm registered for those different contests and I can build lineups and fill them on SaberSim. 
the FanDuel process is basically the same. Again, we're just gonna find that first contest that we want to enter here and go ahead and enter it. Then go ahead and fill out a dummy lineup. Once we've got our dummy lineup, we can go ahead and enter it into the contest. And then we'll use FanDuel's bulk entry tool to enter this lineup into a bunch of other contests. In this case, I'm gonna go just go back to the lobby, turn the bulk entry tool on, and enter the other contests that I want to play. Once I'm entered into everything I wanna play, I'll just click choose lineup, pick the dummy lineup, and re-enter. And now I've got an entries file on FanDuel as well. Once you've got an entries file, it's just one click to download that file from DraftKings and load it into the SaberSim app. Once you've got your entries file loaded, there's essentially unlimited customization options of making sure that the right lineups are getting into the right contests. In this case, for example, I wanna make sure that my single entry lineups are ending up in the single entry contests here. And I have specific builds that I built for the quarter jukebox and the Minimax. I can go ahead and identify those lineups and fill them as well. Once I'm all done, it's just one more click to download the new entries file and go back to DraftKings to upload it. And I'm done. And as I mentioned before, our entry editor is totally integrated into our late swap as well, making it easy to update your lineups if there's news that breaks after lock. If you're looking for an in-depth tutorial that goes into more detail about how our entry editor works, you can find one linked in the description of this video, but you don't have to take my word for any of this. We offer a completely free seven day trial on our site, sabersim.com, so you can come check us out and check out the entry editor for yourself. You'll also get access to our lineup optimizer and other tools for all of these different sports completely free for seven days. Stop wasting time and taking unnecessary risk entering your DFS lineups into your contests and start using SaberSim's entry editor today. In the meantime, thank you for watching and good luck.